uh, he's a skilled kid who came from Mississippi State. And he was part of just a, a, a backlog of quarterbacks. And he never got a lot of snaps. And evidently, he must not have shown an awful lot because they kind of just shoved him off to the side. Now, he's a big athlete. He's 6'2 and 215, 220. Mm -hmm. uh, and the cameo appearances he had as a quarterback last year when Lucas Johnson, the then starter, got hurt, I thought he played very competitively. And all of a sudden, he's no longer a quarterback. And they moved him to safety where he's a great athlete. He might wind up being... Uh, NFL caliber player uh, in the secondary because he's so big and he's fast and he can run. Mm -hmm. They had a week to get him ready. Yeah. Just a week. Now, I grant you they're playing Hawaii, which is really downtrodden. But, pal, you go 24 for 32 for 322. That's pretty impressive. Now, they have a bye week this week. And the issue is Braxton Burmeister, the Virginia Tech transfer, who's had three injuries in five weeks, is still in concussion protocol. He had one limited workout, and they had to take him off the field again. So I don't know that Braxton Burmeister is going to be ready a week from now when they, they go on the road and they go play at Nevada. Uh, Jalen Maiden has worked hard to deserve this. He's obviously a student of the game. He's obviously an athlete. So maybe this is, this is a quarterback that can bail him out of this injury issue. I will say this, though, and I'm, I'll be critical. I asked the question about San Diego State's coaching staff, and this starts with Brady Hoke, and it goes through offensive coordinator and quarterback coach. You didn't recognize this kid's ability? This kid did this in one week, and you had him as a fifth-string quarterback, and had he not transferred again, yeah. he wound up going to be a safety. So I, I, just, I question whether this coaching staff and that leadership has the ability to develop offenses that match what modern day football is and modern day football is going down the field all the time. Uh, they need, they're going to hire an offensive coordinator once the season has ended. It better be a guru who can recruit quarterbacks and develop quarterbacks. Cause John, we haven't had that at San Diego state, despite the great success Brady Hoke and Rocky Long have had, they have not developed quarterbacks, not game changers, maybe game managers. Thank God they could run the ball, but they're not running the ball very well this year because every young offensive line they weren't protecting. That's why Burmaster has been so banged up. Um, so I just I posed the question about the Aztec coaching staff. Who are these people? You didn't recognize that kid's talent? And look what he did. He bailed them out. He oh, saved them. Yeah. At least in that first game against Hawaii. And I think he's probably going to be actively involved at quarterback, especially if the Burmeister injury. Those concussions are scary. That's a gray area. That takes time. So that's my spin on the Aztecs. Well, I think what happens is, is a lot of times coaches fall in love with certain players. You know, they've got a, their own pecking order and they're going to give their number one guy every opportunity. Even though there's a guy like Jalen Maiden that's down the depth chart, he just doesn't get the shot. And if it wasn't for the injuries and the defections and all the other chaos with the quarterback situation, Maiden would still be playing safety and we'd still be, you know, lucky to throw a hundred yards a game. Yeah, and I, I'll throw the addendum comment on to this. This is the same coaching staff that didn't see a future for Lucas Johnson last year's starter and kind of ran him off. Lucas Johnston leads one double a football in total offense, throwing and running at Montana. Think about that. Now, granted that's one double a it's different than the mountain West a little bit. It's surely not the pack 12, so there's a question here about the Aztec coaching staff and recognizing talent on offense because Johnson played well at the end of last season. Maiden, his cameo appearance, played well. And Johnson's gone and Maiden moved to safety because they didn't see in the big picture that he could produce. Uh, I might be the only one in this community who's raising questions about Brady Hoke and the assistant coaching staff, but somebody needs to say something, so I did.